This morning on our series, Men Behaving Badly, we look at why men stray. Joining us now is M. Gary Newman, author of The Truth About Cheating, and Matt Titus, a relationship coach and a reformed cheater himself. Gentlemen, good morning and good morning. welcome. Matt, let me turn to you. Why did you cheat and why did you ultimately stop? Well, you know, I was physically attracted to another woman and I let that rule my life. I wasn't a forward-thinking male. You know, I led by uh, my instinctive behavior. I didn't think about the repercussions of my actions. Actually, on my way to a girlfriend, my girlfriend's house, I had a motorcycle accident and almost died. And uh, when I went to the hospital, I was going through a CAT scan unit because they were checking me out. And I woke up right before I went in and I pulled the trauma tech down and I said to him, buddy, my girlfriend's, my wife is probably in the waiting room. My girlfriend's on the way. Please call my girlfriend and tell her not to come. Mm -hmm. This is oh, when I was goodness. actually, you know, that bad off. And the next two weeks were me coordinating hospital visits between my wife and my girlfriend so they would not run into each other. That wow. was a low point in my life. Well, according to your book, there are a lot of reasons why men cheat. But the number one reason, according to your book, why men cheat is was because... The emotional disconnect at home. And again, and just like Matt is saying, it's not blaming the wife at all. It's just saying that they find in the mistress things, unfortunately, that they do not find at home. And they are not emotionally articulate and verbal the way we right. hope they would be. Exactly. So they will not tell you that they need the appreciation, they need the admiration, that they're really far more more insecure than they'd like for you to know. The number one reason was not about sex, which was amazing. 88% of the men in my study said that the mistress was not better looking or in better shape than their wife. So it was not about the sex, sex, sex that people think. It was more about that emotional disconnected home that was served up by the mistress, unfortunately. Another reason you do list is sexual infrequency. Yes. I feel that women are told again and again that unless they have this, like, PhD in prostitution education, their man's going to stray. And it's really not about that. It's really about frequency. And I go to great lengths in the book to talk about how women can enjoy sexuality and love making more with their husbands. Really, this book is about starting a conversation with your husband. It's about saying, listen, you want these things, showing them this book, and they say, yes, well, this is how I want the same, and let's do this together. It's about that focus that we hardly ever bring up. The number three reason uh, why men cheat is? Friendships because they have yeah. cheating friends. Yeah, it was amazing that 77% of the cheaters said they had best friends who cheated compared to less than half of the faithful group. So it's about saying, listen, you want to hang out with your friend instead of the bars and clubs, how about Sunday afternoon football at our house? I mean, just please be aware of the culture of cheating that's created. It gives women the right and the focus to have those conversations and those loving appreciation. It will come back to women all the time. Men. I've learned want to please their wives. Kids, jobs, the stress mm -hmm. of, of having a relationship will take away from the intimacy that actually created the relationship. And what he says mm -hmm. is exactly right. You know, I coach my clients and, and the, make the marriage one long first date. If you can do that, you'll make it. Matt yeah. Titus, I'm Gary Newman. Thank you, gentlemen. He knows. <laughs> Thank you.